An art project at a Pulaski area school is paying tribute to that region's agricultural past. One way to preserve history is through it. art. Students at Sunnyside Elementary in Chase helped create this mural of the old Chase stone barn. And the artist and the students talked with Fox 11's Eric Peterson. And there's Bertha. Naomi Mose Jenkins says she had a handful of photos to work with. It had animals, people, and there is, is a thriving little community of its own. The Daniel Krause family farm depicted life in this Oconto County community more than a century ago. Now, students at Sunnyside Elementary School are helping to bring this old barn back to life. We started uh, groundbreaking, if you will, in October, the middle of October, and um, have just kind of plucked away at it until we thought it was absolutely perfect. Jessica Rosenberg is the school's art teacher. She says most of the 460 students here had a hand in creating this mural. We had to use the clay and, like, roll it into a ball, kind of, and then put it on to make the wheels. We had experience with an art project that was bigger than our normal art project. The stone barn creation is 10 feet wide and five and a half feet tall. It weighs in at 500 pounds. Many parts of this mural are three-dimensional, sticks, stones, even grass. Students were asked to bring in materials to help. It has some of its own artistic vision in with it, but it's rendered very closely to what the stone barn looks like. We made sure we had all the doors in the right place. We made sure we had the roof right, the color is right, the bricks correct. The artist says it's a study in the past, the present, and the future. We have to appreciate the old architectural history, otherwise it will be gone forever. It's beautiful, it's awesome. I'm glad that Sunnyside gets to hang on to it forever. In the town of Chase, Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News. As part of the project, students created mini murals as well. The artwork will be on display at Artie Gras this weekend at Shopko Hall in Ashwaubenon.